Hello everyone and welcome to the summer offering of CSC 131, uh, Introduction to Computer Science. My name is Doug Shook and I'm going to be your instructor uh, for this course this summer. Uh, I'm very excited to getting to know all of you and work alongside all of you as we uh, learn some basic computer science concepts uh, over the summer. The point of this video is to introduce you to the structure of the class and the tools that we'll be using in this class. And uh, I think one thing that's important to note is that uh, while, of course, a lot of classes are going online lately due to the ongoing uh, COVID-19 situation, uh, this summer offering of 131 has actually been offered online for five or six years now. And we are you know, in a pretty good place with how this course is offered online. Uh, we already have a lot of good policies and strategies set up, and uh, this class should run very smoothly. Um, we're very prepared and very excited to have you all in class this summer. Um, so this is my, um, oh gosh, I can't even remember how many times I've taught 131, at least a dozen times in my tenure teaching career, and this is the fourth time that I've taught this class over the summer. Uh, I've got a lot of experience teaching it, and uh, it's just a blast. It's a really fun class. Uh, I'm so excited that you all get to start this computer science journey and that I get to be uh, the one to kind of help help along uh, as you learn um, what, what's my favorite topic, uh, which is uh, computer programming and computer science. So what I'm going to do for the rest of this video is kind of give you an introduction to the um, tools and stuff that we have set up to help you succeed in this class, give you a brief introduction of what this class is about. And um, then you'll be, you'll be ready to get started. You'll be ready to jump right in. So let me go ahead and switch over to my uh, browser real quickly here. And what we are looking at right now is Canvas. And so um, Canvas is uh, our course management system for this course. Uh, all of the information that you need about the course can be found on Canvas. And you can get to Canvas by Googling Wustel Canvas or um, I forget the exact address to get there, but uh, you should you should be able to find Canvas fairly easily uh, and log in. And once you log in, you should see this course uh, listed on your Canvas page. And if you click on it, it should bring you to this page right here, which is going to show you um, the entire structure of the course from now until the end of the summer. You can see there's quite a lot of uh, material that we have to cover um, over the over this course. I'm actually going to start with some basic course policies and go over some you know basic syllabus day stuff with you to start with, and then we'll go over the schedule and some other things as well. Um, in terms of what what the grading structure is going to be like and what things are going to be graded, uh, you are going to have one exam that's given to you at the end of the course. Typically, this is offered during the first week of class uh, in person on campus. Um, because of the ongoing situation, I understand that that may not be possible. So that's why there's no date set for this exam yet. Uh, I would still like to do this in person if possible. I recognize that it may not be possible. So um, you know, if it, if it turns out that that's not going to be doable, we'll have this exam online instead. I'm just asking that you give me a little bit of time to figure out uh, what's doable and what's not. Um, so I will announce the date for this final exam once, uh, once it has been set. Uh, but right now we're just kind of taking a little bit of a wait and see approach so that we can decide what's going to happen. Uh, this exam will be cumulative. It will cover all of the material from the class and you can see it's worth a big chunk of the grade. Uh, normally you would have multiple exams spread out over the course of the semester, but since the uh, summer class is uh, you know, a shortened period of time compared to a normal semester, we just have the one final cumulative exam uh, instead. Um, a lot of the rest of the stuff is pretty similar to what you would get in a normal semester. So you'll have weekly homework assignments. I'll talk about those in a little bit. So one assignment uh, almost every week. Uh, and so there'll be eight assignments total, I believe, worth uh, a good chunk of your grade. And then we have three sets of what we call extensions. Uh, you can think of extensions as special homework assignments where you get a little bit of uh, say in what the homework assignment looks like. So we're going to present you with a set of options, right? Uh, we call them extensions. And you get to pick and choose which extensions um, you want to, to do based on your own personal interests. So this is a way to let you kind of customize the course and, and learn about uh, computer science in a way that you know makes most sense with your own personal interests, your own personal desires. So those will happen at a few points throughout the semester. Usually every three to four weeks or so, we'll have a set of extensions 
right? Uh, and so you can see that those are also worth a significant chunk of your grade. Uh, studios are in-class assignments. So, so you'll be doing these in-class. I'll talk about the meeting times and, and stuff in just a little bit. Uh, you'll be working on these in-class in small groups with three to four people per group. Uh, these will also be held weekly, right? And so um, you can see that uh, they're worth a smaller portion of your grade. And studios really, we aren't, we don't expect you to complete them. We don't even necessarily expect you to get them 100% correct. We just expect you to show up and participate for the entire 80-minute class period. That is how you get credit for the studio. So at the end of that 80-minute class period, whether you completed the studio or you didn't complete the studio, as long as you gave it your best effort, and tried for the entire time, you will get credit uh, just for showing up and participating. Um, it's a good way to get to talk to your classmates and work together as a group. Uh, since things like assignments and extensions are done individually, studios are a way for you to have discussions with your classmates uh, and work together in, in small groups to complete a goal. There will be weekly quizzes uh, as well. Quizzes are usually due one week after the homework assignment that they are about. So um, if you submit homework one on Tuesday, uh, the quiz for homework one will be due the following Tuesday. The nice thing about quizzes is you can take them as many times as you want. So you can take a quiz 100 times if you want to, and we're gonna take your highest score. So um, you know, take your time, use whatever resources you like. They're open book, open notes, open whatever you want. Um, figure them out and uh, get them done. Should be pretty easy points, and then finally you get a little bit of credit just for filling out the course evaluation uh, at the end of the at the end of the class. Okay, so those are the basic uh, pieces of the course. I'll show you how those fit into the schedule in just a little bit. Uh, some things to to take note here. Uh, some other policies um, that I want to point out. I'm not going to go through this whole thing. There's quite a lot here. I do expect you to take a look at this policies page and read it on your own time. Um, but one thing that I do want to point out is that um, we do have a, an academic integrity policy and a collaboration policy, which we take very, very seriously. Uh, so I mentioned before that studios are your chance to work in small groups uh, and get work done uh, together. Uh, whereas assignments and extensions are meant to be done individually. And we take this very, very seriously. You are not to work with other students on the assignments. They are meant to be done by you and you alone. Um, so we will be checking uh, for this kind of stuff. Uh, we'll be checking things like, you know, if you found solutions on the internet and tried to submit as well. Uh, it's not something that we enjoy doing. It's not something that's pleasant to think about, but it is something that we do take very, very, very seriously in this class. So. I would encourage you, you know, if you get stuck, if you need help on an assignment, your best course of action is to come ask, ask us, ask a TA, ask an instructor. We are going to be very, very, very available, and I'll show you a few ways that you can get in contact with us if you need help. Okay? Um, otherwise, let's move on to the next part of the course. Um, basic course structure is going to look like this. Uh, so on Canvas, I clicked the home link. And you can see that on this homepage, uh, after the orientation, there's a series of what we call modules. And we're gonna go through basically one module per week. So module zero is our first module. Uh, it doesn't really count grade-wise. Kind of, you can think of it as kind of like a practice module just to get you kind of used to the flow of the course. And the first thing that you see in the module is a set of videos. So if I click on this video here, uh, it's gonna load up a, a video and you'll actually see, um, you won't see me, and uh, you'll see me in some of these videos, but actually you'll see other computer science instructors, primarily uh, Dr. Citron, and a lot of these course videos, um, introducing the course concepts and explaining these course concepts to you. Um, and these are what we call prep work. So you're gonna be asked to perform your prep work, uh, go through these videos uh, before showing up to class. Um, so that once you're asked to perform a task like uh, work on a studio, uh, you'll have already seen these concepts, you'll have been introduced to these concepts, maybe you have a little bit of practice with these concepts, and uh, you won't be going in totally blind. So then, once you perform the prep work, actually I'm going to scroll down to module one here since it's the first real module. So you can see there's a, a bit more prep work here than in the practice one. You can see there's actually something here called an exercise. These exercises are not graded, uh, but they are uh, highly, highly encouraged for you to complete. 
Uh, they're just little practice problems for you to work on. We pre present you some instructions and then also we'll show you the solution to the exercise so that you can check over your work. So we expect you to perform all of this prep work before showing up to Studio. Studio is going to be um, where you go over those in-class exercises based on the contents of that week's prep work. You're going to perform a little in-class activity in small groups with your classmates uh, with the help of the TAs and instructors. And then um, once the studio is finished, you'll then have the rest of the week to work on the homework assignment. So the homework assignments will be due um, every Tuesday. And uh, once you get your homework assignments finished, you'll have to show your work to either a TA or an instructor to receive credit for that homework assignment. Once the homework assignment is done, you then have another week to finish the quiz for that module. And then we'll also move on to the next module. You'll do another set of prep work, you'll do another studio, and then you'll do another homework assignment. And we'll just repeat that um, every week until the end of the course. I know it sounds like a lot, right? And it does take a little bit of getting used to. Uh, the structure is a little bit different. So please be sure to talk to your TAs, talk to your, um, and talk to me if you have any questions about how this all works. And if you need a little bit of help remembering what is due when, I'd like to point you to this calendar page on Canvas. This is a great, 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 great tab. Uh, if I click on the calendar page, I can see the due dates for everything in the class going from now until the end of the course. So here we are in the latter half of May. You can see that um, today is 17th, Sunday. Uh, the official course start date is tomorrow, the 18th. And uh, the first assignment, assignment zero, is due one week from Tuesday. So you have lots of time to finish it. It's actually not even graded. It's just a practice assignment. Your first graded item is here on Thursday. Uh, Studio One is the first graded item that you're going to be doing on Thursday. And you can see that our uh, schedule follows the same format every week. We have studios on uh, Thursday and then assignment due the following Tuesday. Studio on Thursday, assignment due the following Thursday. And for each of these things, you will need to meet with either me or the TAs to uh, get these things done. So let's talk about that a little bit. Uh, one of the things that um, is in the welcome email that was sent out to you is a link to uh, get uh, some scheduling information from you. Uh, you notice that when you sign up for this class, there was no times listed for this class. That's because uh, you're going to be assigned to work with a TA. Uh, you'll be assigned to work with that TA for the entire course. And so the first week of class, the reason that you don't see any assignments listed here, the first week of the class is basically just to get us all organized and get everything scheduled so that you can organize and set up a time to meet with your TA twice a week for 80 minutes, just like you would for a normal class that you're taking on campus. So you are expected to meet twice a week with your TA uh, to complete the studio and the assignment, uh, do the assignment demonstration to submit that work. And so that's what we're going to be working on during this first week of class. And, you know, as you're filling out the scheduling form, I want you to think about it like a normal class. I am uh, expecting students to meet on either Monday, Wednesdays or Tuesday, Thursdays. That will um, keep things pretty regular, right? Uh, just like a normal class would be. It'll also make it so that you can meet the course deadlines. So you would do studio on either Wednesday or Thursday, and then you would meet with your TA on either Monday or Tuesday to show them your uh, homework assignment to submit your, your, your code, to submit your homework assignment, in other words. Um, so that is kind of what I would like you to think about as you fill out that scheduling form to let us know, um, you know when you'll be able to meet. Um, don't hesitate to put down meeting times in the evenings. Those are actually very popular meeting times. Uh, if you can meet in the mornings, put those down. Mornings are a little bit more difficult, I've found, in practice, but there's uh, usually at least one or two TAs who are willing to pick up morning hours. Afternoons and evenings are very popular. And again, I would encourage you to meet on Mondays and Wednesdays and Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, if at all possible, because that's what's going to work best for the uh, ongoing course uh, schedule. Okay? Um, all right, let's see. What's next on the agenda to talk about here? I'm going to go back to the home page real quick. And uh, you can see that I offer office hours. Uh, here are my office hours uh, from noon to 2. This is central time. I should update this to say central time. Um, here's my Zoom link to meet with me. I'll just log on from at noon 
on Tuesdays and Thursdays for office hours. And if you want to come, hit this link and you can ask me any questions you want about homework assignments, about anything you need. I'll also be popping into your um, meetings with your TAs as well during studio time and lab times. Um, I, well, I'm going to try to make it to as many as I can. Uh, obviously, there are a lot of students in this class. It may not be possible for me to make it to every single meeting, but I'm going to do the best that I can uh, to get there. Um, let's see, what else? So let's talk about how to communicate with us outside of class time. So you're going to set up meeting times to talk to your TAs on a regular basis, twice a week. I've got office hours that you can use to talk to me if you have questions uh, to, to ask me. And then Slack is another uh, tool that we'll use to communicate, especially outside of class hours. So I've actually already got the Slack page open. Uh, you're going to be receiving an invitation to this Slack channel. It's, it's basically just a chat room. Uh, so I, here I am in the chat room right now. I can type in a quick little message, uh, right? And um, so here in the general channel, this is a good place to ask questions about course policies or anything like that um, that you uh, are interested in uh, in regards to the course. Uh, over here on the left, you'll see a bunch of channels. And right now there's not a ton of channels, but eventually, uh, we will set up a channel that is uh, specifically for your group. So for the, the group that is assigned to your TA, the group of three to four students who you'll be working with um, over the course of this semester. So if you wanna to talk to your TA outside of class hours, that's a good way to uh, reach out to them outside of class time, okay? Uh, this is, in my opinion, much better than email. I, I think you'll get a faster response from myself and the TAs uh, by using Slack. Um, over email. And in addition, if you need to talk to me about something private, about something personal, um, you don't have to post it in a public channel. You can uh, message me directly and it will just uh, be private between you and me. So if you have grading concerns or some other personal concerns, you can just send me a direct message. Um, that is a much better way to contact me um, than email. I would, I would much prefer all course communications go through Slack. Uh, I will check my email and answer my email, of course, but uh, this is the preferred way of communication. Okay, so let's wrap up real quick by just talking about, you know, how to succeed in this course, how to do well in this class. You can actually see that uh, this is one of the vi topics of the videos that we're going to ask you to watch, right? Uh, but we really want you to be curious. We want you to be uh, willing to get in and experiment and struggle a little bit, right? Uh, these are not the kinds of problems that you are going to sit down and get correct on the first try. That is not the expectation here. Uh, we expect you to get stuck. We expect you to struggle. We expect you to need some help. Um, so, you know, the students who do well in this course are the students who are going to recognize that these things are going to happen and are willing to come ask for help and get a push in the right direction when they need it. Um, so, don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to look things up online. Uh, Google is your friend. If you if you need some additional information about a particular topic, don't be afraid to look it up. That is totally okay. What's not okay is Googling, you know, how to solve the first homework assignment. Obviously, that's over the line. So, you know, conceptual Googling, totally fine. Um, Googling how to solve a particular problem is getting into territory that I think I would caution you against for academic integrity purposes. And so now going forward, what should you be doing? So this week, uh, we need you to fill out that scheduling form, which is in the welcome email that I sent out to you, right? So that's a, a very important task. I'm asking that you get that completed by Wednesday morning. So please fill that out as soon as possible. You can do it right now. It'll take you a few minutes, right? Let us know when you'll be able to meet. Um, Wednesday afternoon or so, I'm hoping to have you assigned to your TA. So I'm hoping that everybody will know what TA they're assigned to work with by Wednesday afternoon. That gives you almost an entire week. Uh, actually, it does give you an entire week, uh, basically, to figure out between you and your TA when you're going to meet so that uh, the following week you can start meeting on that regular schedule. Um, so um, that's kind of, that's kind of the, the main thing to get done this week. The other thing that you can start working on this week, if you have time to do it, is to go through module zero. So uh, you can go through these very uh, short prep work videos that kind of introduce the class a little bit. 
uh, with Dr. Citron. And then there is an assignment here, assignment zero. I mentioned earlier, this is not graded. This is not part of your final grade. However, this assignment shows you how to set up the tools that we are going to use in this class. So we're going to be using a programming language called Java. And this assignment zero shows you how to install Java on your computer so that you can use it. We're also going to be using a tool called Eclipse. Eclipse is what we call um, an IDE, an Integrated Development Environment. So this, these instructions also show you how to install Eclipse and get Eclipse up and running on your computer. We're also going to be using a website called GitHub. GitHub is a nice way to distribute code. So if we want to give you some code to work on for a homework assignment, we're going to post it on GitHub and you're going to access it that way. So assignment zero shows you, you know, how to access code on GitHub and get it on your computer so that you can complete the homework assignments. So, um, going through assignment zero is going to get you set up with everything that you need to get started on this class. Uh, we hope that you will get this done over the next week. And if you have questions, be sure to ask us on Slack uh, so that we can uh, help you uh, get all this stuff set up so that once you start working on the real homework assignments, the ones that are graded for credit, uh, you'll have everything up and running and ready to go and you won't have to worry about uh, any setup issues. So um, that is your main task over the next week. Uh, so two things, right? Fill out that scheduling form as soon as possible. Get it done by Wednesday at the absolute latest. Uh, Wednesday morning, and then go through assignment zero, complete the entire thing. I would expect assignment zero to take you, I don't know, an hour or two if you don't have any problems. And if you do have some problems, uh, like I said, be sure to reach out to us on Slack so that we can uh, get you up and running. And then once you've got assignment zero finished, you can also get a little bit of practice with the quiz. Uh, quiz zero actually is not a quiz over um, concepts, it's a quiz over course policies. So. Uh, it should be pretty easy if you've read the policies page um, to, to get that finished up. Uh, so there's plenty of stuff that you can do. Uh, again, nothing, none of this stuff is graded. Your first graded activity will take place uh, next Thursday, uh, which is the uh, 28th of May. Um, that is when you'll meet with, in your small groups to complete your first studio with your TA. Uh, so that'll be your first graded assignment next Thursday, and your first homework assignment will be due the following Tuesday. And we'll just repeat that structure every week, and this class will be um, over before you know it. it. It tends to really fly by, I've found, over the summer. I think that's about it for now. I've been talking for quite a bit, so I'm going to get out of the way and let you go ahead and get started on this stuff. But I am so, so, so excited to meet all of you. Um, so happy to have you in this class uh, over the summer. Um, let me uh, just uh, say thank you very much for registering for this class. Uh, we're so happy to have you. Uh, I'm so happy to be here and so happy to be with you as you start on your computer science journey. Uh, it's very exciting and we're going to have a lot of fun this summer. Um, so thank you very much and uh, I'll see you in class.